Hello, welcome back to my time tunnel. Yes, the crowd, the crowd is screaming. And uh, today we're going to be hitting back with a little Windows 98 Starfleet Academy. All right, here we go with Starfleet Academy. Been a while since I played this, so I better uh, figure out my controls. Hopefully, with a new game, they'll teach you a lot. Uh, a lot of things that I've probably forgotten. Um, sometimes going through the the game helped you with that. And so here we go, new game. Let's see what happens. Cadets log, first entry. Cadet David Forrester logging on. Today they took us for a tour of the simulator, and for the first time, I met my crew. <laughs> That's Jeffrey Corn, my navigator. He's from one of the wealthiest families on Alpha Centauri. Rumor has it he was up for command school, but didn't take it because he doesn't like the responsibility of command. Get a little CD course, skip rumor here and there. Has it that his photon torpedoes never miss. At the helm is Jana Acton. She's from the mining colony on Rigel 12 in the Levantine Expanse. She hasn't had an easy life. They live pretty rough out there, especially by Federation standards. My engineer is Robin Brady, from Colorado, on Earth. He's a quiet guy, but I'm told he can tear apart and rebuild a warp drive in record time. Over by communications, that's Vanda McGee. She's the oldest daughter of a prominent Andorian ambassador. Most Andorians never expected her to take on a heavy responsibility like Starfleet. My science officer is Sturrett, from Vulcan. I worked with him in some computer classes last year. He's brilliant, even by Vulcan standards. Cadets? We're scheduled to complete familiarization later this morning, and this <laughs> afternoon we fly our first real simulator mission. Overall, not looking bad. By flight. Let's hope we're ready for it. Trial by fire. Uh oh. Where do you put save game? Oh, I guess you just save game. All right. Continue. Cadets, this is your first Starfleet Academy mission. It Several is. star systems are threatened by drifting minefields. Your job is to destroy the mines and to capture the devices controlling them. Further instructions will be sent to you as your mission progresses. Now, Mr. Forrester. We need you to choose your vessel. The more powerful your vessel, the more difficult the scenario will become. Oh. <laughs> so what should I take? The Miranda? Let's just stick to the Miranda. I do want the Constitution, but let's take the Wrath of Khan special. I'd like a Miranda class ship. Miranda class. <laughs> this should be interesting. <laughs> Captain's log, stardate 2967.5. Weapons of war do not recognize truces, ceasefires, or peace treaties. They're capable of killing millennia after their wars have been forgotten. Our mission involves these weapons. We must neutralize several dangerous minefields that are threatening Federation space. Message from Starbase, Captain. Warp to system S1222. By pressing keys Shift and W, to engage warp. Your course is automatically plotted by your navigator if it is a mission objective. Course laid in, Captain. Okay. Here we go. Entering system 1222, Captain. Running pretty good on the old P3. After entering the system, Go to red alert by pressing the A key and then the R key. Target a mine. Use the keypad zero or period keys to cycle through targets. The targeted item will have a square around it. If the square is red, it is in phaser range. If the red square has crosshairs, the target is in photon torpedo range. The keypad plus keys selects the nearest target. These mines fire weapons at the ship and explode in close proximity to the ship. Do not approach them too closely. Button one on the joystick will fire phases, and button two 
will fire the photon torpedoes. I'm not sure what button Each two ship is. <laughs> has a limited complement of photon torpedoes. This thing on has board. a lot of buttons. So use them sparingly. Hmm. I wonder how how many. Okay, so A and then R. And then plus and minus kind of things. There we go. Okay, I see. I think I see. There we go. One targeted. I need to change that. I think you can put the throttle on the joystick. I just didn't forgot to do it. Mine destroyed. Okay. All right. Next. Mine destroyed. <laughs> Get that Miranda class of going. Looking pretty good though. I mean, this is 1986 graphics here. This game held up very well though. I remember playing it way long past its <laughs> delivery date. <laughs> Got close enough for that one to shoot at me. Mine phasers are operational again, Captain. Upper shields repaired. Mine destroyed. Okay. Or anything else? Oh, there they are. There was something. To change my map. I can't remember how to change my map to long distance. There we go. Come on. Come on. Mine destroyed. Mine destroyed. Well, that mine took a shot at me, didn't it? Mind controller. Gotta try it out. You have destroyed the mind controller. Next time, use a lower power <laughs> setting on your phasers. Guess I wasn't supposed to blow them up. <laughs> well, lower power. You didn't tell me I had to capture him. Upper shields are clear. Your mission in this system. Proceed to system 1622. Course laid in, Captain. All right. Entering system 1622, Captain. Target and destroy all mines once more. Oh, who's firing at me? Use a lower power something on against to disable them, I guess. I better check that out. Let's see. So turn down my phasers a bit to weak sauce. <laughs> disable second mind controller. Disable second mind controller. Okay, where is he? 
mine controller. There he is. He's already on me. Okay. You want phasers down to 35%? percent see if I can just hurt him. Oh. I'll let him get out of range on me. He's taking me to mine, so. Yikes. Down yeah, I'm gonna get tore up by all these mines. Ah, uh, drift, I'm drift. Four shields are critical, sir. Destroyed, Captain. We got to. Starboard shields down to 50%. We gotta go. Go, baby, go. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Yeah, who cares about tractor beam? <laughs> okay. Where is that jerk mind controller? There he is. Damn it, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> That's the problem there. Lower shields down to 50%. I need my throttle hooked Lower up on my. Critical, sir. That shield system is damaged. Repair crews are working. Warping are critical. Life support system off. Woo! You have destroyed the mind controller. Next time, use a lower power setting on your phasers. <laughs> you have failed your mission. Return to Starbase. Course laid in, Captain. Walk to Starbase by pressing Shift and W. Heavy casualties on all decks, Captain. Captain, <laughs> we've cracked our We have a hole breach, Captain. Look at that. Life support system offline. Oh. Life support system offline. During the course of your mission, your <laughs> ship was lost. That is an automatic failing grade. I'm afraid you're going to have to repeat the mission. That was a lot of fun. I am going to have to repeat the your mission. Your score is inadequate. You'll have to repeat the mission. Wow. Boy, did I fail. <laughs> I'm going to have to play this again, but that was too fun not to save and uh, at least uh, do a video on even though I got whooped. Oh, Lordy. Trying to figure out all the buttons and stuff. I need to go through the settings. I need a um, controls, keyboard. That's me going in raw and failing the first, basically the first level on Star Trek Academy. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through here and play it a few more times and beat it. And uh, well, I'll record that too, but hey, not all. Uh, first plays are a win and it goes to show this game pretty serious it's pretty tough um, I'm gonna have to go through and learn all my controls and learn them properly can't just go in here and just go wild <laughs> they expect you to perform a certain way I didn't know they were gonna expect me to save the mind controllers but my gosh it's been two decades since I played this game <laughs> so yeah my fault but hey, we'll do it right Alrighty, well thanks for watching, there will be much more in this game to come.